you will get to the point where you eat something that has a dairy in it and it tastes really gross. Milk and cereal, something I had every day growing up. So many different plant milks out there. Cashew, almond, quinoa, rice, oat milk, soy, coconut, and I'm talking about the canned stuff, but coconut milk in the cartons. There's so many options out there now. My personal favorite to replace for cereal would be almond milk. The consistency to me is the most similar to dairy milk. If you're a creamy salad dressing kind of person, check out Tani Raw here on YouTube. She's got a ton of recipes and I believe High Carb Hannah has done some recently that was like a vegan ranch one or she's coming out with one. Check Another really good resource is it doesn't taste like chicken.com. She has a really good recipe section for salad dressings, which has 16 different recipes. Check it out. I'll link it down below. Oh, yogurt. Yogurt. I almost forgot about yogurt and ice cream. Oh my God, ice cream. We love ice cream, right? Okay, good news. There's so many non-vegan ice creams out there. It's ridiculous. And I'm really sorry if you live in an area that does not have nicely packaged vegan ice cream for you, like Ben & Jerry's non-dairy, um, Coconut Bliss, oh my god. Never fear though, if you do not have access to non-dairy ice creams at your grocery store, ask for it and ask for it. Ask for it, request, request, request as often as you can. And in the meantime, banana and ice cream. It's my favorite anyway. So there's so many options and also yogurt. There are, it's not as common, I don't see this as often, but I know they're out there, vegan yogurts. And if you can't find them packaged, there are ways of making them at home. Um, but yeah, check it out. Just get online and look for vegan, whatever it is that you're looking to replace. Go on Google, vegan pizza cheese, vegan yogurt. Just see if you can find recipes if you can't find the products. Have patience and remember, why you're doing this for your health or for the animals or for both just keep that in your mind and don't lose focus just know that you will adjust you will get to the point where you eat something that has a dairy in it and it tastes really gross i've accidentally eaten something and i'm just like ugh this has dairy in it ugh gross if you have any questions below about transitioning to veganism or just cheese replacements in general hit me up comment down below and if you have any suggestions comment down below because you, you never know who you're going to be helping out that's it for now and i will see you guys in the next one bye number one cheese is addictive and it's actually has something in it that makes it addictive it's not something that's added it's just naturally